Welcome to Concept in Medicine. Today we are going to be looking at the child pew score. Interesting, right? Definitely. All right, let's move ahead and look at the child pew score. So we should know that the child pew score is a clinical scoring system used to determine the severity, the prognosis, and the perioperative mortality of abdominal surgeries in a chronic liver disease or liver cirrhosis patient. Let's look at the score. So for this score, it has five components. And what are those components? We are looking at the serum bilirubin. We are talking about the serum albumin. We are talking about INR or prothrombin time. We are also talking about ascites, the grade of ascites, and also talking about the encephalopathy the grade all right let's move into detail when we take the bilirubin with the unit in micromoles per liter the lower the level of serum bilirubin the better the outcome so in that case if the serum bilirubin is less than 34 micromoles per liter you give a score of one if it ranges between if it ranges from 34 to 51 micromoles per liter you give a score of two if it is greater than 51 micromoles per liter you give a score of three let's move on to the next component that will be the serum albumin and the unit is going to be in gram per liter for the serum albumin the greater it is the better because we need albumin to ensure one, the oncotic pressure in the blood vessels to be what? Optimal, preventing uh, the leakage of fluid or the extra vasation of fluid into the extravascular space. For albumin, if the serum albumin is greater than 35 gram per liter, will give a score of one. If it is ranging from 35 to 28 gram per liter, that is in a decreasing order, will give a score of two. If it is less than 28 gram per liter, we will give a score of 3. Let's move on to the next component. That will be the INR. For the INR, the lesser the INR, the better. So an INR less than 1.7 will give a score of 1. Ranging from 1.7 to 2.2 will give a score of 2. Greater than 2.2 will give a score of 3. In place of the INR, we can use the prothrombin time because prothrombin time is directly proportional to the INR. It's a component of INR. So if using the prothrombin time is second, then prothrombin time less than four seconds will give a score of one. Prothrombin time ranging from four to six seconds, a score of two. And prothrombin time greater than six seconds, a score of three. Let's move on to the next component, that is ascites. If there is no ascites, a score of one, that is good. If there is a well-controlled ascites or mild ascites, we we'll give a score of two. If there is moderate ascites or poorly controlled ascites, we we'll give a score of three. The next component is hepatic encephalopathy, which we spoke about in our previous lesson. For hepatic encephalopathy, if there is no hepatic encephalopathy, we'll give a score of one. That is good. If you have hepatic encephalopathy of grades one to two, we'll give a score of two. That of grades three to four will give a score of three. And if all details are input in this score, we can have an interpretation. So let's look at the interpretation all right for the interpretation we are going to have the total score the class the perioperative mortality of abdominal surgery in such patients and also the lifespan so let's look at it so that a total score of five to six will classify it as class a a total score of seven to nine will classify it as class b and a total score of 10 to 15 will classify it as class c Lifespan, the lower the score, the better 
the house come the longer the lifespan so a total score of five to six or those who belong to class a they will have a lifespan of 15 to 20 years those belonging to class b that is a total score of seven to nine will live for four to 14 years and those in class c that is a total score of 10 to 15 will live for one to three years very bad it's worse all right Operating mortality of abdominal surgery in such patients. If you take class A, they will have a peri mortality of only 10%. Class B, they will have a peri operative mortality of 30%. And class C, they will have 82%. I believe and trust that we have learned something interesting today. Kindly make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and also recommend to your friends as well. And also, finally, comment the next concept you would like to see in my next tutorial session. My name is Dr. Adele, and once again, this is Concept in Medicine. Bye-bye.